welcome friends can i call you friends welcome to today's video today we are doing a full face of rare beauty i am entirely team selena so if you're not you can exit out now and uh, it won't hurt my feelings. It is hard not to follow the drama. I am 38 years old and I have... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't care for petty bullshit. I feel like I am definitely too tired for petty nonsense The one thing that I notice about Selena is that to me. She's always seemed like a genuine individual There's so few genuine people left especially in the music industry the movie industry anything really in production And you've had them over the years that we've all gravitated towards people that really captured our hearts and just seemed genuine in a sea of nonsense and i think selena has always at least represented herself in a really professional really mature way and i love her i don't know i've been a fan of hers i don't even know who the hell Haley bieber is no i do i'm just kidding but what it, what was her last name before she married justin i am sipping my coffee here anyway i don't care for people who got into fame um, simply by nepotism. Uh, their family was famous and then they got famous and by virtue of simply who their mother, father, brother, and sister were, that's how they got famous and they have no talent otherwise. And I think that's where we're at. So yeah, if you are a team anything other than Selena, this may not be the place for you. So I have a full face. I thought I had a lot in my collection. Um, until I started placing an order for the rest of the stuff that I needed and realized I don't have as much rare beauty stuff as I thought I did. So I feel pretty good about all the stuff that I picked up. I don't have everything from her line, but pretty darn close. There were some things that I couldn't get. Actually, no, there were a lot of things that I couldn't get at my local store. Then I went to a store at the Tampa Mall. It's an international mall and the rare beauty display was ripped apart. There were so many things out of stock. So I ended up having to place the rest of the orders online because it just wasn't anywhere local to me. Couldn't get my hands on it. I'm sure a lot of us were probably like buying Rare Beauty makeup at the time when, you know, there was like a hype about a month ago or starting about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago at this point with what is kind of like trending on social media. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Yeah, so I thought I had a lot of stuff in my collection and then I was going through the website and I was like, okay, I don't have that. Okay, I don't have that. I don't have that. So I ended up spending a lot more than I thought I was going to. I did want to pick up their new bronzer though. This is like in a new shade. She added, I think, three shades in the range. And they were meant for cool like undertones, but these ones are for neutral undertones. So she added some neutral shades to her line. And this one is in the shade Bright Side. So I got my hands on that. And also her new eyeshadow palette. This one is Give Yourself Grace. I did have the other one that was like this, that launched like this. And I think she actually added two to her line now. And I decluttered it simply because it's really honestly not my favorite quality. And I was doing an eyeshadow declutter and I was like, look, I never grabbed for this one. Unfortunately, that was the case. I don't know if this is reformulated in any way, but because we were doing a full Rare Beauty try on, I wanted to pick this up. Even though I am a huge Selena Gomez fan, I am still going to tell you the products that I think are really good and the stuff that I don't think really works for me at all i don't think there's a lot but there definitely is some there is a lot in here that's going to be a first impressions for me because i haven't tried a lot of stuff from their line definitely in the base product department i've never tried a foundation so i did pick up their her skin tint and a couple of other things that i've just never tried wanted to try for example her always an optimist setting powder and I've never tried a brow product. So a lot of these things are going to be new. So it's going to be first impressions. I'm going to give you my truthful thoughts, honest feedback on things that I think are honestly worth it and the stuff that isn't. I already told you I had decluttered the other palette. This definitely has a very similar pressed glitter shade, but I thought the one that I had before was a deeper brown. I, I honestly cannot remember. So whatever, we're trying that one. I also had this in my collection already. 
this is one of the like all shimmer palettes it's confident energy i know she had two but i had picked this up a long time ago when it had first launched and i didn't want to get rid of it because i did like the shimmer formula so let's get right into this i want to start with primer i actually have two primers i have both of her primers in the minis so the first one is the pore diffusing primer and then she also has the illuminating primer so i want to use both i want to target the pore diffusing primer in the center of my face obviously on my nose i am so red today you guys i have no idea what's going on i have been getting out so i think i've been getting a little bit of sun i'm just gonna target this here i love this pore diffusing primer for my skin because i have such dry skin there are some pore diffusing primers that cause me to look so dry they're just drying. Whereas I think this one, it's like one of my favorite. It's gone through many declutters and even though I don't use a pore diffusing primer very often, I won't get rid of it simply because I think it's the only one in my collection that I've tried that's really geared towards people with dry skin. Or it's like made for everybody and it's just not like an overly drying formula. So let's move into this tinted moisturizer. So it's the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. This does have an SPF in it of 20. I got mine in the shade 16C. You guys, I'm gonna say for Rare Beauty matching on base products, I have always struggled. I picked up her concealer when it first launched and it was so light on me, I ended up having to declutter it. It wasn't necessarily a formula issue. It was just so light. So I hopefully picked up these shades they're both in 160C. Maybe now that I'm like looking at it, I should have gotten a shade lighter for the concealer. I don't know. I was so limited with the concealers that I could get in store. There just wasn't a lot. You guys, I do like the fact that this has like, you know, a part on it that, so it won't roll off of the table. I, you know, I've seen reviews on this. I know most of these products in pretty good detail, even though I haven't tried them all myself. That is the consistency. It's actually thicker than I thought it was gonna be. It feels whipped. This does look like a good shade though. I think I'm gonna get away with this. I think this is gonna look good. I'm actually gonna go into half my face. Am I? No, I'm going, I'm going for it. I ended up putting it on the sponge because I, um, had glitter all over my hands. <laughs> I don't wanna pick it up off my hands. It has a strong sunscreen smell. This looks so much lighter than the foundation. 160 does work for me, but now I'm thinking like this maybe is too light. I don't know, we're gonna test it out. No, I actually think this will be a good shade. I can definitely see the illuminating primer underneath the foundation. I need more coverage though, because I'm so red today. So I'm gonna layer up this concealer even though it's light. I'm just gonna focus it in the center of my face. I have to be honest, when I tried the concealer years ago now, it's easily two years ago when I first tried the concealer and probably declared it a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. I don't know, I didn't have it very long simply because it was the wrong shade. And I remember it being very drying formula on my under eyes. It's not that I'm younger or anything, but my skin is not as dry as it was back then. And I'm actually hoping that this concealer doesn't crease now because it's a decent coverage. It's definitely light to medium. I don't think that it's more than light to medium. It always does a better job on my right eye because my left eye is always darker. I have a big scar from a dog bite when I was a kid. And so the scar is still there, but for whatever reason, this eye is always darker now. I mean, this eye seems different now that I apply a lot of makeup. It definitely pulls down more than I think the right one does. And I think that's due to my scar. Thanks mom. I'm just kidding. I love my mom. My mom is the only parent I have left. I love her and I treasure her and you should always treasure your parents because you don't know how long you're gonna have them. Let's move on into setting powder. So always an Optimist Soft Radiance setting powder. powder. This is in the shade light. You guys, when I was in store buying this, I was like, oh my God, there's nothing here. And then this silly little powder, they're totally out in the light shade. Then I get to the register for the minis and there it is like, oh, 
I do have a lot of her brushes and honestly, I applied that concealer without the concealer brush. It's fine. This one is loved, abused, used and abused. Honestly, it's got so much different product on here. I probably don't want to test her concealer again with it, but I love this thing. I use it a lot for like eyeshadow primer. I have used it many times for concealer. This is just at the time that it launched was such an innovative little design that it just hugged right here it was soft enough but dense enough this thing is bomb i recommend this concealer brush like 10 out of 10 but i want to try some of the other ones that she has in her line and i picked all of them up i'm pretty sure i picked all of the remaining ones that i haven't tried are you kidding me i have the liquid touch foundation brush oh my gosh what is my problem oh poo this looks so good. This is the one for the foundation or the skin tint, but it's like the same shape as the other one. It's just in a larger version. Oh, poop. Now I'm all sad. Okay, let's just, let's just do it anyway. Let's add some more to my cheeks. I will be beside myself if I don't get to apply some more with this brush since I went on such a hunt. And let's see. That just like blended in seamlessly. This is a very light coverage foundation, and so I'm definitely getting all of my redness peeking through. This is so soft, and it's like the perfect little angle, honestly, and it hugs your neck. Okay, I'm glad that I tried it. Now, let's go on into this powder. I have the Always an Optimist powder brush. This one looks like an awesome tip Oh, it's not stabby like some of my under eye powder brushes. It's super fluffy. Her powder has an on and off switch. So it has little holes like a salt shaker and you, then you close the lid. This definitely has like a pink hue to it. I feel like a lot of companies are coming out with pink powders right now. Whereas I feel like two years ago, you just didn't see them that often. This powder brush though, so soft. Brow products were super limited. I did end up getting one of the Brow Harmony pencil and gel in the shade Rich Taupe. So hopefully that's good. They literally had this shade and then one super dark and then a gray. There was like three in stock total. This is a fat little guy. Okay, so this is a more diamond shape. And then on this side is a brow gel. I don't ever use brow gels, so I'm probably gonna skip it. This is really creamy, but it's definitely like a chalkier formula, which is like perfect for me. I like the mid range, a little bit chalky, not too creamy, but doesn't tug when I apply it. And I honestly do not mind when they're the thick brow pencils like this. I like them. I had one from Trustique that was like my holy grail for a really long time. I haven't repurchased it, but that's not to say that I haven't repurchased it before and that I won't again. I'm just trying other brow products. I think this is gonna be a really good shade though. And I am somebody who doesn't go like in crazy with my brows, I just, I fill them in, like that's it. If anyone doesn't like this product, it is simply because it's just not their preference of pencil, but this is a tremendous application. This is super easy and creamy. I'm going in with the lightest hand. I really do prefer something that's retractable. So I like this and I like a thick one. I mean, I definitely could see her coming out in her line like later on now that she has like the brow gel on one end and then a thicker pencil. Like she could come out with a micro pencil at some point. Let's just go ahead and do this just to see. It feels like it would make them stick super well. I don't know if I'm gonna test that out, but I liked it. I really like this pencil though. I wanna go into this Always an Optimist eyeshadow primer. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, this was one of the things that I really, really wanted to try. So let's do this. And you know what? I can actually use my brush because I, I honestly use eyeshadow primer with this brush quite a bit as opposed to concealer because I actually do like like a dampened sponge under my eyes for concealer just to kind of minimize the texture on some of the concealer so it sinks into my skin a little bit better so I try not to use a brush with it so we get to use it yay this I have been wanting to try for so long because a lot of people said that it was really good so I just wiped off my um lids because I did throw a little bit of concealer on them so I'm taking it off now it feels good though it's got coverage but not too much I would say 
I've just been looking for a good eyeshadow primer recently and I heard good reviews on this when it launched. You definitely have to put the powder in the lid though because I you can't really get it out otherwise. So you gotta kinda use everything that's in there. I have to say though, nothing is sitting heavy on me. The skin tint is my kind of coverage. I would say though that it's like a satin finish already. Like it's not an overly dewy skin tint. It's more just lightweight, light coverage. All of my redness is like peeking through in the center of my face. So it didn't offer a lot. The powder doesn't look heavy. It's very smoothing. It didn't do a lot either though. It's just very light. You know, I did have her blushes in these kind of compacts before, like the potted cream blush. And I really liked the formula because I'm really into a cream to powder finish. I ended up decluttering it because I only had it in one shade. It was a berry shade. And at the time when they launched, I think that was the only one that was available in store. So I wasn't gonna let it go, but it was too deep for me. So it was not a formula issue. It was definitely just a shade issue. And I didn't pick those up again because I really, really want to test these out again and see how the formula is whether it's the matte one or the or the dewy finish and use it with the brush because this is the soft pinch blush brush Ooh, it's nice it's like tapered but like stiff i'm excited to try that all right let's watch these two bronzers up against each other this was power boost honestly some of my favorite this is my favorite stick formula i don't think it's my favorite stick shade but it's definitely my favorite stick formula. I think that's a standout product from her. So Power Boost definitely has a little bit of warmth to it. And then this one is the one in Bright Side. So this one is more neutral. So you can see cooler undertones and a neutral undertone. I'm glad that she listened to us when we were all saying, okay, we love the formula, but it all had a little bit of warmth for cool undertones. And, and this looks exactly like it should. It's not too much of a deeper shade because this is the lightest neutral undertone and then this one is the lightest cool undertones. So I'm, I have no doubt this is gonna work beautifully. I'm going straight into the sucker and I'm drawing it all on. There is no reason to wait. It is super emollient and you do not have to do one side at a time. I draw it straight onto my face because it's just that kind of product and it blends in perfectly. Let's go into the blush. I definitely wanna go for this one. Let's swatch them both. I'm gonna let them dry and then we'll see which one is what finish. There are the swatches. These are so opaque, you guys. They just, boy, like no patchiness. Oh, this is the dewy one. I can already feel it on the swatch. This is the matte formula and that's the dewy version. So let's go ahead and go into the one that's in grace. I'm going for it. Two dots, that's it. All right, using the brush. Don't let that have been too much. Oh my gosh. You need one dot. I have not rated these super highly in the past. I honestly think that they looked kind of flat on the cheeks. This is not the dewy finish. This is the matte version and it's really pigmented. But yeah, the the matte version is honestly too flat looking on the cheeks. It just doesn't give enough dimension. So that's why I have not loved these blushes. And I think that I want to pick up the one that's dewy unless the orange one was the dewy one and I just got them wrong just now, which could totally be. But do you see how just like kind of flat and like one dimensional that looks? And I should have gone in with an even lighter hand because now I'm gonna have to cover some of this up. Don't, don't be alarmed. This isn't gonna stay like this. I do like this brush though. Let's go into the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. It's a glow boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes skin. I just picked up a mini. I love that she comes out with mini products and a lot of her stuff. Like these are the mini primers. She has like the mini soft pinch blushes in several shades. She has minis in some of her lip products also. And I really do like that because I can't go through a lot of product. And I love when brands actually come out with minis and things when they can. So let's see this mister. It's nice. I want to test it on my arm and see if it ends up being like a sticky formula. Actually, before we do that, let's go into her powder highlighters. I picked up the shade Enlighten and I also have the pinky one that is in Mesmerize. I am going to stay away from the pinky one today because I've got enough pink on my cheeks, I think. Yeah. And I also picked up her um, highlighting brush, which I didn't originally. It's really pretty, but more the more I use it, I actually kind of think that 
it's a little bit of a chalky formula it doesn't necessarily melt into my skin it definitely kind of sits on top of my skin more than i wish that it would so yeah i mean i do like these for their shade and just how silky they are but i do think that they're a little bit of a heavy formula and they definitely like sit on top of the skin they're punchy though and this highlighting brush is bomb. I'm gonna reach for this a lot. She has some damn good brushes, dude. Now let's go into the spray. It's not sticky, so I don't think it's like an overly setting, setting spray. Oh, it's light. Ooh, that's, <laughs> I could get crazy with that. It has like a eucalyptus scent. It smells like green tea or something. But that mister, oh, the mister is so nice. Okay, we're moving on into the eyeshadow palette now. I did kind of swatch this just so I could see the formula on some of these. This one here is the lightest shimmer in that palette and it's very muted, it's very natural. This is gorgeous, but also it's not a like metallic. This is more metallic, this is the pressed glitter and this is one of the swatches from this palette, which is the Confident Energy All Shimmer Palette. I'm gonna pull this one in because it's honestly a better shimmer than like the other ones. I don't think that this one's bad, but I'm gonna use the pressed glitter. I'm gonna have to, like I need to test it. I don't know if I ever did in the other palette that I had. I'm gonna do a more pink look, I think, and I'm gonna pull this matte shade in. Then I'm gonna actually take this shimmer, the one that I liked in the swatch right here so much, in the outer corner, I'm going to use this silver one all over the lid and then top it with the press glitter. That is what we're doing. This is a pigmented shade. Like I remember this just being kind of underwhelming, but I don't mind it. Super easy to blend. It's not patchy. It's going on top of that eyeshadow primer really nicely. Now going into that deep purple shade. And let's see how it picks up on a fluffy brush. I mean a dense brush, <laughs> to fluffy, but it's a dense and fluffy. I don't know, it's like a packer brush. Look, it's really pigmented. Did she change the formula? I don't know, I just don't remember it being like so nice. But this is blending with no issues. Like I'm done, That that's, that's it. That's like an everyday wearable look right there. Hello, I'm going into the shade right now. I kept this palette because I thought that these shimmers were actually really nice and light reflecting, but they're so thin. They are not like added chunks on your eyelid. It's just a light reflecting formula that's really, really thin. I said that twice now, but yeah, let me reiterate like how thin this is. So if you like a one and done shimmer companion palette, I actually think these confident, the one in the color story, Confident Energy and these all shimmer palettes are actually really, really good quality. Maybe she didn't reformulate and I'm just the dumbass that like didn't realize it was such a good formula. And it's picking up on my flat brush dry super easily. Going into that pressed glitter now and just patting it on top of, and I'm literally going in with no glitter glue. So we'll see how this comes out. What do you guys think? That actually came out much more, I don't know, like impactful and pretty than I remember. We're gonna go into the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. I've heard great things about this. She only has one shade as far as I know, which is just black. But I've heard a lot of people say that, oh, it comes in like a package. A lot of people say that this is like really good quality matte liquid liner. So I'm excited. It's the kind of pen you have to shake. It's pointed like a pen too. There is the stroke, look at that. Very thin. Oh my gosh, is this gonna become one of my favorite liners? I got the most precise line and it was so pigmented like right away. Oh, look at that, no budge. That is a bomb, bomb eyeliner. You can get the most thin stroke, perfect stroke. It's like, it immediately dries down, but wet enough to get on. I thoroughly enjoyed that. There were no issues. This is a good beginner pen. We're down to the last couple of products. It's really just lip products left. And I do have quite a few. So I do have one of her Kind Words matte lipsticks, but I also have one of the Dewy Lip Balms. This one is in Sincere, it's just a mini. I have another one of the Dewy Lip Balms in Compliment. And then I also have one of her um, like regular balms, and this one is in Nearly Mauve. 
I also have her Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. Both of these ones are in the shade Humble. So let's try the lip liner, I think. Well, not try, let's put on the lip liner. This lip liner is really good. I'm not as huge of a fan of the formula on the matte bullet because when I grab for something that is a matte lip product, I'm pretty picky. I definitely have my preferences of the brands that I like and the formulas that I like, and I don't think this was the most creamy. This one was the most creamy. Um, I think we'll just use this one though, just because it matches the lip liner, and then we can top it with the Nearly Mauve shade. This is definitely like a more drying formula. Can you guys see my lips? And so I wouldn't wear it on its own. Do you see just how like drying it is? It's not like bad, like it's a creamy, comfortable, matte formula it's just not hydrating enough that it just emphasizes my lip lines and so it's not my favorite i don't know if i love the matte formula it already dries out my lips too much that the balm isn't like rehydrating it we need to go into the mascara i have decluttered the mascara because it's more volumizing and i don't go for volumizing that much but when i did pick it up before it was just in this mini so i did get the mini again i think this has had a lot of hype a lot of people really liked this mascara. It wasn't my holy grail, it wasn't my favorite. So I did end up using it for a little while and then getting rid of it because it's just, I don't know, maybe it's not pigmented enough for me. Okay, so the mascara was like 10 times better than I remember it being when I first tried it. It was much more pigmented and it was less clumpy than the first time that I tried it. It was much more clumpy. And this time it actually gave me more of like an elongated, lengthening effect than I remember and I don't know this formula just seemed like wetter than when I first applied it the first time like the first time it was a lot drier and it was again in the mini so I don't know so let's do a final roundup on everything I want to talk about like everything that I tried but I'm gonna tell you which ones that I really really cared for um let's start with the primers I've always liked the illuminating primer I like it everywhere I think it works really well with every foundation because it's not very thick I don't think that it really shows on top of a more full coverage foundation but I do think that if you're going in with like nothing maybe an SPF or a lighter skin tint even like this skin tint it's really beautiful this is my favorite pore diffusing primer in the uh pore diffusing primer so yeah a huge recommendation if you're someone with dry skin but still wants to diffuse some of your pores I think the skin tint was good like I don't think it's heavy I don't think it's drying I don't know that this is as much coverage as I'm gonna grab for or want to grab for on an everyday basis so I don't know if this is gonna become my holy grail it definitely sits on my face nicely but it's just not enough coverage I think for me so I, yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge, huge fan of this. Maybe I would like her foundation a little bit better, so I might try that. The concealer, I can tell you that it's definitely a better shade than it was for me the first time. This is actually a better experience than the first time that I had with the concealer because it's not creasing, and I did find that with the first one, and I even layered it up on the more dark side, and it's not creasing. It's just like a light to medium coverage and it seems so far that it's buildable formula so i'm liking this more than i initially did the bronzers i'm a huge fan of these you guys if you can find a shade that you like i like both even with the cool undertones and the neutral undertones it's the formulation that is a standout product i think that everybody agrees i'm not a huge huge fan of the soft pinch blushes though i have to say like i think my cheeks look really one-dimensional in the matte finish and they're really really pigmented i think they're harder to work with than i like to mess around with honestly so those are not my favorite products even though they are one of the most popular products in her line they just haven't been that way for me i think she has way better things honestly than those blushes i really liked the potted formula because i found it quite easy to apply and i liked the finish i just never never got a shade that i liked i like these highlighters in her powder formula i do think that they sit on top of the skin and so like they're thicker they don't like look natural and like 
mesh in with the skin perfectly, but they're super punchy and pigmented. I have been quite enjoying these, even though they're probably not like my favorite in my whole collection, they're still really good powder highlighters. I'm glad that I picked up the powder because this is one thing that I wanted to try because I, I have a hard time with powders just looking super heavy on me. And so I'm always looking for something that's lighter, but actually sets my face without making me look too dry. And I think that that one achieved it. And I kept going in, kept going in, and it did everything that I wanted it to do, but never looked too heavy. So if you have dry skin, I think you'll really like that. That's like a recommendation. I can definitely see me using this again. This liquid liner was so, so good. Like it's good. It's so good. Precise line, really, really pigmented. It's really easy formula to work with, but dries down instantly. This was a good formulation. She did a really awesome job. And then the eyeshadow primer. I'm so excited I picked this up. I like an eyeshadow primer that is like a doe foot applicator. And this one gave a little bit of a tint, but it was still super easy to apply the eyeshadows on top of it. I wanted to try this. So a couple of things in here I've definitely wanted to give a shot to that I'm glad that I did and they didn't disappoint me. I really liked the eyebrow pencil. It's just my kind of pencil. Just fill it in, shape it up, I'm good to go. But if you're somebody who likes the gel, I actually think these are little crusty things now. Like they held for what I was like just teasing it with because I wasn't trying to be serious. So I think it did a good job. This mist thing, I don't know, I can't really tell if it did anything. Like it was super nice sprayer and it felt really hydrating that I was going overboard with it, but it wasn't like a sticky formula. So I don't know how well it'll end up setting my face. These eyeshadow palettes, what in the God's name was I thinking when I first tried it? I swear they just weren't as pigmented as this one was. I loved this eye look. I even liked the pressed glitter. It was really easy to work with. I like the shimmers or the shimmer formula in the all shimmer palette because they're light, because they don't add any texture to your eyes. They're not thick and chunky. So the eyeshadow palettes were surprising hit for me, honestly. And I love her matte lip liners. I think that they're creamy and matte and long lasting. I love her lip products aside from the Kind Words matte one. You heard me talk about this. It just wasn't my favorite, but the balm is the balm. It's super comfortable. I love all her shades. And these are probably my favorite, like the bullet balms. I just think that they're really comfortable. They give good pigmentation. I know that I didn't put these on, but let me swatch these for you guys. So creamy, but so pigmented and so comfortable. They're like where a balm meets lipstick or a lipstick meets balm. And finally, the mascara shocked me. I enjoyed it the second time around a lot more than I did the first time around. And if I was trying this for the first time, I could definitely see the hype around it, like why people say it was really good. I quite enjoyed it, so I'll be reaching for it again. That is everything, you guys. I am out of here. I am done. I am pleased with this look. I think it looks cute and beautiful and nice and natural. I'm rare, and I love Selena, so go Selena. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.